Hello, I'm Natasha Foreman. Welcome to the Breaking Bread with Natasha podcast, where I share daily devotionals from my namesake blog. So you can listen on demand to spiritual messages inspired by God's love as expressed in the Bible and other religious texts. You can read along at breakingbreadwithnatasha.com or sit back and take in the word. Either way, I'm blessed to have you break bread with me. Without further delay, let's begin today's message. Welcome, Breaking Bread family. Thank you so much for joining me today. Let's look at the book of Lamentations, chapter 3, lines 21 to 26. The translation that I'm reading says, Yet this I call to mind, and therefore I have hope. Because of the Lord's great love, we are not consumed, for his compassions never fail. They are new every morning. Great is your faithfulness. I say to myself, The Lord is my portion, therefore I will wait for him. The Lord is good to those whose hope is in him, to the one who seeks him. It is good to wait quietly for the salvation of the Lord. In our desperate need for instant gratification, we oftentimes forget that we control nothing in this world. For whatever we do to cause something to happen, God already knew the decision we were going to make beforehand and therefore already put things into play long ago. So sometimes when we desire something so much that we go after it without waiting patiently for God, we get more than what we bargained for. But don't blame him for it. It was your decision to rush things on your time and pace and not allow things to unfold as he wanted. So now we must live with those consequences, learn from them, realign and grow from the experience. It's better to wait patiently on the Lord than to play the instant gratification game and be dealt a sucky hand. We must learn to wait patiently on him to show us the way to make things happen and to provide what we need versus what we want. Sometimes the two aren't the same. So pray for patience, clarity, vision, hope, faith, peace, presence, and to be present. Then wait. Let's pray on it. Father, thank you for blessing me with another day of experiences and opportunities. Thank you for your constant love and affection and for bringing me joy after pain. You know that I pray for things that I deeply desire, but I know that it is not always on my time, but on your time that these blessings will arrive or not. I wait for you, Lord. I know that you will always provide what's best for me, and I thank you. In your name, I pray as a follower and believer in Christ. Amen. And with that family, I pray that you are blessed, that you see and embrace your blessings, and that you're a blessing to others. I love you all. Take care. Hi, family. If what I shared in today's message resonates with you, I hope you will share it with others. Feel free to leave positive comments and reviews on my site, breakingbreadwithnatasha.com and through whichever podcast provider that you're listening to me. Each day, I work to be a better steward and servant. I hope you will join me in sharing God's love and truth and rebuking the enemy's lies. Now go out there and make today an awesome day. I love you all.